Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Welcome to Home Beer Brewing Part 2. It's time to do the racking. That's when you take the beer from the primary fermenter into the secondary fermenter. You know it's time to rack when your airlock stopper has a bubble less than every 90 seconds. Let the racking begin. Make sure the auto siphon doesn't touch the bottom of the container. Use a clip or a friend. Start the siphon and fill your cleaned and sterilized secondary fermenter. After your secondary fermenter is filled up, take a sample to get another specific gravity reading. Take a hydrometer reading and record it. We'll use this later to calculate the alcohol by volume of the finished beer. I've resanitized my airlock and stopper and I'll add them to the secondary fermenter. The time in the secondary fermenter varies by beer type, so check your recipe. Ales are usually ready to bottle within two to three weeks after fermentation is completely finished. There should be few, if any, bubbles coming out of the airlock at this time. Once again, make sure to clean and sanitize all equipment that comes into contact with your beer. This includes your bottles and caps, as well as your siphon and hose. It helps to have a separate bucket filled with your sanitizing solution. Your caps should be sanitized by putting them in boiling water for 10 minutes. Now rack the beer into the bottling bucket. Dissolve 3 quarters cup corn sugar to 2 cups water and then add it to your bottling bucket. This is what's going to make the carbonation. Rack the beer into your sanitized bottling bucket with the corn sugar in it. When it's finished, lift it up onto the counter so it's higher than your bottles. Our beer is ready for bottling. It's a good idea to make sure you have everything that you need for this process all laid out and ready in front of you. It's time to put your bottling wand on the end of the siphon hose. You're going to want a friend to help you on bottling day because somebody's going to start the siphon while we fill up the bottles and the hydrometer. Let her go, Pete. Push down and the bottling wand will allow the beer to flow. Lift up and it stops. This helps make bottling more tidy. Start filling your bottles to within three quarters of an inch from the top. Place a cap on top and use the capper to seal the bottle. Store your bottles for two weeks in a cool, dark location. After two weeks, the beer is going to be ready to be consumed. So, make your own beer and grow organic for life.